my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day and Happy Tuesday. My name Amanda Neze, reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk, where we speak to you the undiluted truth about the things of life. Where we tell you everything you need to know about the happenings in the Biafra land, both online and offline. My wonderful people, make on hear this Obonga news. Why can't come for this early Tuesday morning? This one, now one of our well, let me call him a, a spokesperson because uh, all these ones that claim to be elders in the Biafran Republic or in the Southeastern, they are not be behaving like elders. In fact, even uh, uh, all these uh, small, small kids on the street is more better than them. He say his name is Umade, uh, a former um, uh, Anambara State, uh, former chief judge, uh, Peter Umade. He don't come out now, can't uh, speak uh, uh, a lot of things concerning the issue of Mazenam de Kano and the freedom of Mazenam de Kano. According to him, he said Mazenam de Kano's case is no more uh, legal case. That it should be treated as a, a political case. Hey, I don't understand though, why our people are so daft. Why our people are so, are so blind. And that is why these people have seen us finish. That is why you see they are using us to play Kalo Kalo. Eh, Umadi, a high chief judge for that matter. Eh? So, to you now, does it mean that Nigerian laws don't work? So, instead of you now to come out now and compare the court as a judge you are and let them know that it is be, uh, within the Mazenam de Kano's right to be free from whatever, wherever they are, they are holding him because the court have already said so. My dear, I am disappointed in our so-called elders. I am disappointed in our so-called legal luminaries in the southeastern part of the country. And sometimes I begin to wonder what kind of law are they even reading or are they practicing? Whether it's a Hindu's law or law from the land of the dead, whereby the, 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 the order of the law is not respected in any way as long as Nigeria is concerned. Imagine a chief judge. Look at what you are saying. Well, it is not your fault. In fact, eh, you are a flav. I don't care. How I, I don't I don't care your age. You are completely flav. Haven't you heard that the, 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 the Supreme Court, sorry, the appeal court have barred any court or whatsoever in Nigeria to try Martin Nam Kano? You didn't hear that. And you cannot even open your mouth. Or have you chopping the forbidden fruit? Any member wonderful people I go, if you continue talking about our so called elders in the in the in the in the southeastern part of the country by the Chige Chigabu, because none of them know their left from their right. All of them are saboteurs. One common peanut, you see them begin to dance at a at logo, even before the in front of their enemies. Even dancing naked in front of those that are supposed to clothe them. <laughs> Well, my wonderful people, I beg you, let us go straight to the reason why we are here. Remember, our um, campaign is still going on. Uh, hashtag Mazenam the Kano, be free now. Hashtag Biafra to the world. Hashtag Biafra to the moon. And hashtag All Hell Biafra. Don't be tired, though. Let me tell you the simple truth. I cannot be tired of pronouncing this on daily basis. Ah, you cannot be tired of typing it at the comment section because the international communities are watching and they are taking cognizance of wealth whatever uh, comments that you people are saying concerning Biafra. The numbers have been taken into uh, into notes. So, do not be tired, okay? My wonderful people. Anyway, like, help me, like this message, share it, comment on it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Another development we have here is under Nigerian news. Not that others don't come out to say, they know be them, or say they know, know be them, they send the, this uh, Ahmed Gumi, semi Kande attack uh, Oga uh, Abi, Mrs. Tunumbu, and uh, near some week, uh, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, and what now? So they take talk on. And the court, he don't okay the suit, second to sack new EFCC chairman, Ola Ulukayo De. Anyway, my wonderful people, now here we go take start our news. I beg, remember, you need to like, share, comment, and make sure you are subscribing to my channel for more interesting videos as we are proceeding. A former chief judge of Anambra State, um, Peter Umade has stated that the political option is the best in resolving the case of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Maze Namdekano, according to the chief judge. The former chief judge asserted that Kano's case should be resolved politically instead of uh, legally. He stated this while speaking to newsmen in Abuja on Sunday. The 2023 presidential candidate of the All Progressive Grand Alliance will be argued uh, that uh, Kano's release will resolve the insecurity issues in the southeast. 
the issue there is did these people really want the insecurity in the south to stop that is answer, the answer is zero according to umade where the issue of insecurity in the southeast first of all it has been said before and i agree for now it is a serious matter if it is solved then that is good the problem uh if it is not solved then you begin to look for another reason why it is still there according to peter umadi but uh, for now everybody is saying it and agree that the issue of namdekano should be treated as a political matter not a legal matter so if he begins his freedom perhaps that will be the end of what we are seeing in the southeastern part of the country now perhaps according to peter umadi the former chief judge in anambra state well uh, and i keep saying it and I also keep continue to say it that the so-called Nigerian government, if even happy, they are drinking champagne on top of the insecurity that is happening in the southeast. So telling them that let them free Mazen Namdekano because of the insecurity, my dear, they will keep on holding him because they want they don't want that very region to succeed. They have already considered the Igbo land, the Biafran nation, the 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 southeastern eastern to be uh, a third class, not even second class, a third class citizens. So whatever they we see, we take it that way. That is how they consider it, us. Because if not, how can uh, the resources of our land be using to develop the so-called uh, uh, federal capital territory and uh, a so-called uh, animal that don't even contribute anything to the federal level or to the development of the country will come out and begin to tell you that that place belongs to them? Is that not madness? No, did you do that? Now did you now? Well, then, well, sir, let us go to uh, another news according to what we have here. And another elders on Monday, distant itself from controversial Muslim cleric Ahmed Sheikh Gumi. This is coming after Gumi made a comment attacking Bola Ahmed, Adekule Tunumbu Missis, and the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, uh, FCT, Nyesom Wike. The northern elders, in a statement released in Abuja, described the uh, Gumi's statement as diversive and unhealthy for the nation. A statement by the spokesperson or spokesman of the northern elders, a consultative forum. Uh, Alahaji Abba Lehman quoted the elders as saying, Gumi's attack were unprovoked, malicious, inciting, and deliberate misinterpretation of our history. They also condemned the religious and the ethnic incitement by those they described as misguided elements and their sponsors in order to cause disaffections and disunity in the so called Nigeria. The form stated that such does not represent the collective view and interest of the North, and certainly not Nigeria's interest, according to them. Ukute News recalls that Gwome last week attacked a week for receiving the Israeli ambassador who paid the minister a courtesy visit in his office. The Muslim cleric had also condemned uh, Mrs. Bola Ahmed Adekuletunumbu for appointing, for appointing Wike as the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, calling on the so called uh, presidency, presidency to sack Wike or he will lose uh, his time in office. The clinic added that it was the Christian soldiers who killed northern political leaders in the past, according to him. Uh, but uh, uh, if my memory will sound me right, not a, such a thing has never happened. However, the forum disagreed with the clinic saying, we totally condemn such unprovoked, diversive statements from a diversive element who is seeking to destabilize the peace and the unity of our dear country, Nigeria, for selfish or for his own selfish reason. The utterance is, to uh, is toxic and it should not uh, be accepted by any decent and sound minded person who loves peace and our Nigeria. The constitution of the Fulani government of Nigeria gives power and right to any Nigerian irrespective of uh, tribe, religion, and political affiliation to be appointed to any position of powers as long as that person operates within the limits of our law. What Nigeria needs now is a consolidated of its peace, unity, and progress. We caution uh, profi uh, profiters of religious fundament uh, fundamentalism and ethnicity as well as agents of destabilization and instability to desist henceforth. We therefore stand with Bola Ahmed Adekunle Tunumbu Misisi and the Chief Barrister Nyesom Wike. We indeed stand with Nigeria and of course the Nigerian Constitution for a better governance system for all Nigerians. Court OK Sus second uh, to sack the new EFCC boss being appointed by Mrs. Adekunle Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, a federal high court in Abuja, 
has taken it uh, into separate suits, taking the disqualification of the newly appointed chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, Olani Kweko Oluka Yode. According to the news, we recall that the Nigerian Senate last week screened and confirmed Oluka Yode as the chairman of the anti graft agency. This follows his appointment by Mrs. Bola Ahmed Adekunle Tunumbu. However, two suits. The first marked FSC slash KN slash CS slash 280 slash 202. We are lodged before the division of the court in Kanu State. And the second suit marked FSC ABJ slash CS slash 1410 slash 2023. Is pending before the Abuja division. Okute News understand that the suits were put before the court by legal practitioners Mr. Stanley. Opera and Mr. Maswell Opera, respectively. Earlier, Justice Abdullah Lehman of the Kano Court had fixed October 30 to hear a motion on notice second to restrain the EFCC chairman, whose appointment was confirmed by the so called Senate, uh, Senate on October 12, from the exercising the powers and functions of the office or drawing salaries and emoluments as an occupant of the office pending the hearing and the determination of the suit. Though the plaintiff had, through his lawyers, Jidobi John Mary, filed an ex parte application for the court to issue an order of interim injunction against Oluko Yode, Justice Lehman, however, ordered him to go and put all the defendants on notice. Cited as defendants in the matter, as Bola, Adekunle, Amel Tunumbu, the Senate President Goswela Kwabio, and the EFCC, the plaintiff was directed by the court to include the EFCC Chairman Oluka Yode and the Secretary of the Commission, Mohamed Hamad Joda, as the fourth and fifth defendants in the matter, respectively. Additionally, Justice Lehman granted permission to the plaintiff to serve a copy of the court process on uh, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu by serving the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Latif Fabwemi, SAN. Furthermore, the court approved substituted service of the suit on the Senate president through the clerk of the Senate. Moreover, the court shortened the time for all the defendants to enter appearance and file their respective processes to 15 good days. Specifically, the plaintiff is among other things praying the court to determine whether having regard to the combined provision of the section 1 sub subsection 1 and section 1 subsection 2 and 3 4 and uh, subsection 15 uh, 5 of the amended 1999 constitution of the Fulani uh, control government of Nigeria section 2 subsection 1 and economic uh, community okay economic and the financial crimes commission establishment act of 2004 the first defendant is Mrs. Adekunle is possessed or opposed of the constitutional powers to appoint anyone who is not a servant or retired member of any government security or law enforcement agency, not below the rank of assistant commissioner of police or equivalent to the position of the chairman of the third defendant, according to what, they, uh, what we have here. In other words, in a, another injunction returning the fourth defendant acting by himself or through his agents, and servants from con uh, continuing to hold out, present or parade himself as a chairman of the Economic and Crimes uh, uh, Financial Commission, a publication by Vanguard quoted. Last but not the least, listed as first to fourth defendant in the matter that is yet to be assigned to a judge for hearing are Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, the AGF, the EFCC, and its embattled chairman Olu Koyode. And this is the word I brought to us this uh, Tuesday morning. So make sure I use this one. They calm down the jollificate. I beg, share, like, comment to make sure you subscribe to my channel. Remember, our campaign is still ongoing and the slogan remains hashtag Biafra to the moon, Biafra to the world, Biafra to the earth, Biafra to every corner of the world, Biafra to Nigeria and all hands, all hands who help Biafra. You get the point now, eh? And at the same time, I stag on the mandate of Mazen Namdekano, I pop and ESN, we all shall stand. <laughs> Autopilot, you go and rest. And that's my case. <laughs> uh, the other attack me, say, why well, I know they call it uh, on the mandate of Sabodekwa. Who knows Sabodekwa? <laughs> Anyway, my wonderful people, my baby, my baby, gonna help me like this, make sure you comment on it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. 
Uh, remember, my name is uh, Mandia Neza, reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. I'll be right back. I'm signing out. Bye for now, my wonderful people. Kemesiano.